Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at the planners that I'm going to be using for 2022, for the new year. Um, so not only planners, but also journals, traveler's notebooks, and just kind of going over how I use each one and why, you know, each one has a purpose. And I always like to watch these types of videos because I think our planner lineup is always going to change. I think it's going to be ever changing depending on our needs and um, our desires and kind of like what's going on in our life at the time. Um, and so I like to watch these types of videos to get inspiration, maybe learn about new planners and kind of see, you know, if there's a new planner system I want to try that works for me. So hopefully you guys will find some inspiration from this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, uh, please give it a thumbs up while you're watching and subscribe if you have not. And let's get into it. I'm going to start with my catch-all planner because that's the one I use the most. And you will see that there are two, technically two planners here. I will explain. So this is a very recent addition to my lineup, but something I really needed. So this is my catch-all. And this is where I track uh, personal stuff, goals, work, just kind of a catch-all, kind of like my home base planner, I like to call it. But when it comes to, um, you know, work and like being on the go, I kind of have struggled because I really want to use my catch-all, but I don't want to bring this whole big heavy thing with all the keychains, especially this one, to work. So when I have to go to work or like I have to go to a business meeting or something, I didn't want to have to lug this whole big thing. So when one of my favorite small shops, uh, Muse Lab on Etsy, definitely go check her out. Her name is Jen. She's an amazing person, great shop owner. Her products are amazing. Great prices, great quality. Um, not sponsored, not, I don't have a code, just go check Jen out. Um, but so she came out with these clear PVC covers and this is in classic disc bound size. And so I thought this would actually be perfect for me. This I can just take to work. So what I did was I put on my discs. I bought these a while back when Jen from Muse Lab, same shop. She came out with these discs. They were limited edition. I bought them and I was like, Cass, you didn't need any more discs. But it actually, I did and it's perfect because they were the smaller discs. It's exactly what I needed. So it just worked out. And so the clear cover actually snaps on here. You can see it's snapped onto the front and then it just, it's there. So it's your cover. Um, and then I have this just piece of laminated vellum that I pulled out of my main catch all here. And then I just have paper. And so what I'm gonna do um, is I'm gonna pop my weekly and my monthly into this planner when I need to leave the house. Um, I don't have my, don't have my planners done for this week yet so that's why they're not in here um and then i just put some filler paper it brings me comfort to just have paper to write things on and then when i get back home i just pop the sheet right out of here um i love this little snap closure and also that you can fit a pen right here um i can pop it right out here and put it back into my main planner i tried for a while to use one of my traveler's notebooks like to bring that with me but i really found that when i was doing that I didn't have time to actually use the layout that I did in my planner here. So it's defeating the purpose. Um, you know, I can tell myself that, oh yeah, I'm just gonna transfer all the stuff into my catch-all. My life is too busy for that. So um, that just doesn't work for me. I love my traveler's notebooks, but uh, that was something I tried and I'm it didn't work for me and that's okay. Um, our planner styles and preferences are going to change. It's just the way it is. And it's a good thing. So this is my main planner here and I love her so much. Um, so here in the front, I have a uh, journaling card that I actually made, um, designed and made this. This is available in my Etsy shop. So uh, link in the description if you're interested, as well as this little die cut. Now this is not a sticker, um, but it is a glittery die cut that you can use to decorate your pocket. Um, this was a collab with me and my friend Queen from Queen's Fancy Plans, and that is available in my shop. And then you can also go check out her. Um, she has a merch shop where you can buy this design um, in pink on a shirt, uh, as well as a few other products. So definitely go check that out if you like those. Um, and I've talked about this many times here on my channel, but a few things have changed, and I'll just kind of quickly go over it again. This is my clear cover. 
This is from the shop Cloth and Paper. And I love this cover. She's been through a lot over the past, um, it's been a year and a half, I guess, that I've had this cover. Um, so she's kind of been through a lot. She's a little bit scratched up, but I like that. She's, you know, she's seen a lot. Um, and then I have some die cuts here. And this is from Honeybee Shop. Most of these are from Honeybee Shop. I got this at Zoomies. And then these are from The Last of Us Part Two Collector's Edition. Um, and then I have this. This is a relatively new thing here in my planner. This tab that says Inbox. This is a washi dashboard that I made using um, Honeybee Shop washi. And then this skeleton washi is just from Michael's. And then um, I just have a little sticky note on the back of this Inbox here. So I really wanted to have this just as kind of like, you know... If I'm not ready to actually write something in my weekly, I can just jot it down here. I can also remove this and put it in the kind of on-the-go catch-all, uh, if I want to call it that. Um, it's just nice to just kind of have something there. Um, and this is the back of that washi dashboard that I designed. And then we have a clear piece of acetate from the Honey Bee Shop. Another uh, washi dashboard that I made, and this is with Honeybee Shop and then Cookie Sticker Co. washi, and this is one of my favorites. And then on the back, we just have a piece of cardstock with bats on it. This was from um, one of the paper pads from Michaels for uh, Halloween a couple of years ago. This is a beautiful journaling card from Lights Planner Action, and that is the shop that I get my inserts from, which I will show you here in a minute. This was a freebie that came absolutely love it and I love on the back you have all the different sizes here um just information about lights planner action and then we go right into my monthly section and my monthlies are kind of a mess they're kind of all over the place honestly like last month I tried to just sticker bomb it um I really I try to use monthlies in my paper planners but I usually don't I just don't really use them. Sometimes I like to have just kind of a general overview though. And you know, it's it's there. It's nice to have it there. Even if I don't always use it, it's nice to have it. Um, and so these are from Lights Planner Action. I bought the undated ones um, and I just went ahead and wrote the months in and I just have to add the, uh, the actual dates. And then we have future dates here and then just a note page at the back. So that's my monthly section. This is a piece of vellum that I printed this freebie from Shauna Klingerman. Um, she's an amazing artist. You should go check her out. But I printed this freebie on a piece of vellum. Really like it. This is my most recent washi dashboard. I'm slightly obsessed with it. And these washi are from, let's see, this kind of like wavy grid one I got from Muse Lab. The purple spider webs and bat bows, and then this one, these are from the Honeybee Shop, and then this one's from Sibley Gilded. Um, just all the pastel goth vibes I'm obsessed with. And then the back, I just kept plain black, and I keep just sticky notes on this. I like to just have sticky notes in my planner in case I need to, to use them, and you know, cute sticky notes are, are great. Um, I'm actually going to, because I just got these in the babe box, I'm actually going to pop one of these on here as well. Okay. Then we have a piece of vellum that I printed, uh, one of the digitals from the Personality Crisis 2.0 Babe Box from the Honeybee Shop. Just printed that right on there. And then we go right into my weekly section. And I just finished taking out all of my, um, you know, layouts and inserts from before now. So what I like to do in my planner for my catch-all is kind of once the month is over, I like to just remove it and pop it onto another set of discs and just kind of start fresh. I don't like to carry around a bunch of past months for my catch-all that I, I don't need. So I pull them right out and I put them on another set of discs and then at the end of the year, I have my planner and then it is what it is. So that's why I like having a disc bound. Uh, you can also do that with ring bound. And so these are plain. I have not done anything with them yet. This is the magical black paper from Lights Planner Action. If you have not used it, I, I can't really describe it, but I don't know how else to say it, but it's magical. Like it's, it's so soft. It actually, you can get it, it's like almost waterproof. You can get it wet. 
if you like write in ink and you mess up, you can actually like wet your finger and rub it off. It's it, it's unbelievable. Um, and so this is my favorite layout lately. It's just a simple vertical grid layout. I absolutely adore it. Um, and go check out my Instagram if you want to see some like after the pen layouts uh, in this because I definitely have some there. Um, yeah, so these are just my inserts that I have here in the weekly section. And then we just move into uh, notes. And this is where I keep, um, sometimes I'll take layouts, you know, from the past couple weeks, if I want to keep those in there, I will keep them um, just kind of, you know, here in the back in the notes section. And then um, these are die cuts from Honeybee Shop. And then uh, these are as well. And then this is a super cute pocket that my friend Queen made for me. Um, and yeah, just some, some old layouts back here. And so the note section, uh, just kind of holds, you know, old layouts. It holds extra paper, uh, just to really have, you know, just extra stuff here in the background. And then I have some budgeting stuff in the back. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then I have this little book that my niece made me years ago that I love. And then I have another sticky note here. Some uh, super cute Agretzko stickers that my friend Felicia ordered for me from a small shop called Cape and Collins. Uh, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with these. And then I just have some pictures of my niece and nephew here in the back. And I have a bookmark and I just kind of tuck these things in. I think I failed to mention uh, this beautiful bat cover is from Cardinal Planners. Great small shop to support. Um, this is a holographic design. You can get any color, any material. I went with the jelly, uh, the black jelly, and then the holographic jelly. It's really amazing how in different lights, especially like a natural light, you can watch the colors change. It really is beautiful. Um, and the bat design wraps all the way around. And then you can choose, like I chose the lilac color for the elastic. You can do a snap closure. Like it's completely customizable. I would love to um, get some more covers from Cardinal Planners. I just, I'm absolutely in love with it. So that's my catch all. Um, and then I have some cute little keychains up here. This is from um, uh, the Honeybee Shop. So is this. It's probably my favorite. And this I got at a local um, like consignment shop. And then I have my beautiful little Agretzko keychain that I got at Too Many Games. Honeybee Shop. Got this at Dover Comic Con. And the shop name escapes me right now. But I will put it in the description because I do have it saved. Um, oh, wait. Actually, hold on. I have the sticky notes right here, and I think they say it on here. Yes. And, yeah, I will put that in the description as well. And then this I also got at Too Many Games. Persona 5, one of my favorite games ever. Okay, that's my catch-all. All right, now we're gonna move into the Traveler's Notebooks. Now I showed these last year. Um, I showed these in my mid-year planner lineup. Um, a few things have changed in them, but I'll just kind of give a brief overview of what they are and how I use them. So this isn't technically a planner. Um, this is a Traveler's Notebook that I use. This is the MCR B6TN. It is a passion project. I have a whole playlist here on the channel on how this came to be why I wanted to do it, how I made the inserts, just everything, uh, the concept, all of that stuff. Uh, I have a playlist, so you can definitely go check that out if you're interested. Um, so this is based on my favorite band, My Chemical Romance, and um, it was just a way for me to commemorate my favorite band and have all kinds of stuff here tucked away in a little notebook. Um, this beautiful Hotel Bell de Muerte keychain is from um, Bear Necessity Sticker Co. I had I had to have that uh, this little bow it's actually a hair bow um yeah I got this at Hot Topic years ago and this is from Hot Topic as well and then this is from my girl Karen Cunningham 
amazing artist. She does, she actually collabed with my chem to do some merch, which is absolutely incredible. She's very talented and amazing. And that is a pin that she made. And so when you open her up, this is something I'm going to be uh, working on for a future 12 days of plan this video. So stay tuned. I've had this for so long and I haven't actually created my return insert yet. So working on it. Um, but a video will be coming within the next couple weeks. So this pin, uh, obsessed also from bare necessities sticker co I think this might be from natty cat pins actually I, i'll correct myself on the screen this might be from natty cat pins um it's it's been a bit i absolutely love it though and this is pepe uh from the black parade and i got this i think at hot topic um and then i have a photo in here of me holding the black parade is dead with my brand new the black parade is dead hoodie that i got at the my chem show that i went to on May 7, 2008, and I have a picture of the ticket back there. Very, very special day for me. Um, and then I have a paperclip here of some vampire fangs. Uh, this is from Honeybee Shop. And then this is a design by my wonderful friend Ainsley. And she created this, and it says Unleash the Bats. I can show you the backside here. So this is actually uh, printed on vellum. She, I got her permission to use it. Here in the MCR B6TN, and I adore it. It's perfect. Um, and I have it kind of around the insert that's based on. Um, if you guys don't know about MCR, you can totally skip ahead. Like, if you're like, what is she talking about? I'm going to be using a lot of terms that, like, if you don't know this band, you won't know what the hell I'm talking about. But I do encourage you, if you have a band or a movie or a comic or anything that you're really into something that means a lot to you uh, and you want to kind of commemorate it this is a great idea to do it in a traveler's notebook so maybe you can get some inspiration even if it's not a band if it's for a tv show or um really really anything um so yeah i apologize for all the my chem talk i'm going to try to go through this <laughs> as quickly as i can but this insert is based on their first album i brought you my bullets you brought me your love so what i tried to do with this is go through all the different eras of my chem because that's kind of how we as fans think of the band like you have bullets era revenge parade danger days break up and return so it's it's a thing so um i made this i designed this using their um album art from their first album i have the cd so i scanned all the uh the booklet i scanned it in and i designed this here and then i have a couple stickers also from karen cunningham uh that are lyrics from this album so um just kind of an example yeah you know, she's a little she's a little loud okay she's a little loud she's a little messy you know i really like that um so i do some kind of like art journaling in here and i really like how this came out i wasn't sure kind of how to start so i just sat down and just started i printed out some pictures i had some washi tape I printed out, um, kind of took a screenshot of me listening to a song here. I wrote some lyrics kind of messily in the background. I put some like spider web um, paper on here with a little bat cardstock. Like I just really just had fun and made it messy. Um, you know, did a little doodle here. It was just really fun to do. Um, and so that's all I've done for the bullets insert so far. I'm going to try my hardest to really do more in this um i'm just taking my time with it not putting a lot of pressure on myself but it's something i really really enjoy doing and then we move into the revenge insert which is uh my favorite era of the band probably because that's the era that i discovered them in um discovered them in 2005 so it was kind of the peak of that um and yeah, so this is a piece of vellum. This pattern is from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. I purchased the digital pattern and printed it on a piece of vellum. And then this I designed, uh, obviously took their, um, the art by Gerard Way here that was on the cover of Revenge. I have this from the um, the vinyl and it was the, you know, the, the slip, whatever you call it, the, the, uh, the sheet in the vinyl that had all the lyrics on it. I scanned my tape 
of the album, my CD that I got G to sign, which was awesome. And, oh God, that's so embarrassing. Oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I have since reworked this design. This was the best I could do at the time. So it's part of my journey. It's part of the process, but I'm really embarrassed to look at that now. So I definitely need to update this. Um, Thank You for the Venom is a song on this album. Uh, and Mercy for the Venom was actually on the back of Bullets. It was actually on... See, it's right there. Mercy Port Le Venom. Um, thank you for the Venom. So it was kind of foreshadowing into a song that would be on this album. So that uh, all these hollow stickers are from Karen Cunningham. This is from the Honeybee Shop. This I cut out from a Hot Topic ad. <laughs> and then this was some art journaling I did for Revenge. Super fun to do. Uh, just wrote a couple of my favorite lyrics here. And printed out a screenshot from I'm not okay .net. Um, Yeah, so I'll just kind of go through this. This was the, oh gosh, wow. Um, I did this in March of 2021. And like I said, this was the best I could do at the time. I just sat down in my art journal, which we're going to get to, and uh, had fun. So I scanned it and then printed it on sticker paper. <sighs> very funny to look back at and then here in the back um I just have so I actually I bought like a spare cd of revenge so that I could put the actual um you know paper in here so this is from an extra copy of the cd that I had and so is that and uh yeah Karen again and then uh honeybee shop and then this on the back I designed as well and then there's the back of the vellum with another beautiful sticker. Then we move into Black Parade era. Um, super happy with how this design came out. Again, I took um, the collector's edition of the Black Parade in the velvet box. And I scanned some of the materials from that. And um, G signed this one as well for me, which was pretty cool. Just a small flex, you know. And... Uh, <laughs> Then I did some art journaling in here. It got a little bit messy, which is fine, but it got a little bit messy because I decided to use some Mod Podge. I don't know what I was thinking. And something really weird happened with this, but I love how it came out. Like it looks like blood almost. I don't even know what it is. Um, and then, you know, Pepe got a little messed up here from the Mod Podge, but it's cool. It's messy. I like it. Um, again, this messy writing is just I started with the first lyric of the first song, the end on the album, and just started writing. And, uh, yeah, just a little bit of fun art journaling in here. A little paint got through there, but that's okay. Again, these inserts are homemade, um, so that's why they're not, like, super nice or anything. But um, if you want to make some, I have a video on how to do that. It was very easy and fun to do. And I will be uh, making another one very soon for Return Era. Uh, this is the back. Also designed this, and then another sticker from Karen. And then we move into Danger Days era. Um, designed this as well. This was a mask that I actually made for a cosplay, so uh, I scanned that in. And then this little pin, came, I got that on my chem's web store years ago. This was actually a collage I made in college. <laughs> and uh, for a graphic design class, and I... Just looking back on it was was fun. So I decided to print that out because it was all Danger Days era. Uh, this was actually the first sticker I ever made. And this is my homemade ray gun that I painted myself. And then G signed it. And uh, so I, I made a sticker. It's my first sticker I ever made. So I thought that was kind of cool to put in there. I literally have no recollection of doing this. I have no recollection of doing this. What is that star? I Okay. I don't know when I did this, if I was like half asleep or what it was, but that's hysterical. Um, wow. Okay. Yeah. Don't recall doing that at all. Like literally at all. It's kind of strange. And then, uh, yeah. So then we just have the rest of the paper here and then there's the back. And so next I have to work on breakup era, which is going to include like their personal projects and some other things in my life. Cause that was a really, um, kind of defining period of my life when they were broken up. Um, and so I need to work on that. And then also return 
because they are back and that's so exciting to to say I still can't really believe it so I have to work on that um then I just have you know just again just a little flex um you know it's fine so yeah that is the MCR B6TN again very proud of it um it means a lot to me it's one of my prized possessions so uh, definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be working on a return themed insert as well as a breakup insert. So that is the MCR B6 TN. All right. This, she's thick, okay? This is an absolutely gorgeous traveler's notebook from the Honeybee Shop. This cover came with a babe box. So I just thought that was incredible um, for a planner subscription box. It included this cover. This thing is so thick. And I kind of forgot this stuff was in here. So I'm probably going to take that out um, and put it, you know, actually organize it in with my stickers. I admittedly, I haven't touched this in quite a while. Um, but that's okay. So we have, uh, this is kind of my memory keeping insert. That's what, or not insert, notebook, traveler's notebook. That's what this whole thing is about that's the point of it is for memory keeping this is my current memory keeping system like i said admittedly i haven't worked in it in a while but i do have a video coming up so i'm going to basically force myself to do some memory keeping from 2021 and so all this is from honeybee shop including this insert and this was a fun memory keeping spread i did for um the longest hike that i have done so far it was seven miles which is a lot for me uh was super it was super fun, went with my husband and our friend, and it was just, it was a great day. And then I did this in here. Um, these were some stickers that I made with photos that I took on the hike, and I just never used it, but it's okay because it's undated. So one day I'll pick it up and use it. Um, so I have this whole insert here. And I am using this for uh, just memory keeping spreads. And then we move into here and this is actually a piece of wrapping paper like handmade wrapping paper that i bought at the local shop and i decided to cut it and put it in here i really like the texture and then i have a memory keeping insert from lights planner action that i got a while back and have not touched i know like i said i will be using it very soon i did color a couple things and that's all i did but it has a lot of really great prompts, which is great to kind of get you started with uh, memory keeping. So I really like this. I did a detailed flip through of that particular insert in a video on my channel. So I will link to that if you want to check that out. Um, and then this insert, this is also from Honeybee Shop. And this is kind of a, it's a memory keeping insert. Um... I think my plan when I did this was to use this as like a, just for hiking, like for nature stuff and hiking. I think that was kind of what I was thinking for this insert. Um, so I definitely have some more pictures and things to print. And then this was just general memory keeping. I have some real old stuff in here that I kind of, you know, had like in boxes for years and didn't know what to do with. Like this is from 2008, but I said, you know what? I'm just going to throw it right in there. And I, I noted here that this is when I did it. Uh, this is when I met the Bouncing Souls, one of my favorite bands. I met them at Warp Tour. And then I just kind of talked a little bit about um, Warp Tour. And then just some general memory keeping here. Uh, this is from 2020. And then kind of uh, moving into 2021 here. And I need to get caught up. Um... And it just, I'm trying not to put a lot of pressure on myself with this. Like, okay, this insert has to have this and this has to have this. I just want to capture memories is all I want to do. Um, that I save notes and things like that is for my sister-in-law. And uh, then I have a sticky note here. And this goes into my last insert, which is my Disney insert that I made using a paper from the Honeybee Shop. And this was the actual like paper in here. This is from uh, Michael's. I got it. I believe this was like a sweet kawaii design or shine sticker studio notebook i can't remember off the top of my head i got it in the clearance bin and i just put uh this paper just kind of glued it to the outside and so um this actually might be once more with love now that i think about it but um i haven't been to disney since i made this but i definitely have some if you hear a dog barking 
that's my neighbor's dog and um my neighbor thinks it's okay to just let your dog out in the backyard and just let them bark incessantly and uh can't afford it so sorry about that um yeah so I haven't been to Disney since I made this insert but I definitely have lots of Disney memories that I need to like just print out and write about and reflect on so I promise I'll do that soon I don't think there's anything in the back um and yeah so that is my memory keeping traveler's notebook and I had some stickers and stuff here in the back that I need to organize which again I have a video coming up on sticker organization so be sure to subscribe if you have not. All right. Next. I'm sorry this video is just going to be so long. I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but <laughs> it's going to be a long one just because my planner stack uh, is kind of big. So this is the first Traveler's Notebook I ever had. And this is, I don't even know what to call it. It's just a... Um, truly a traveler's notebook. I bring it with me. Uh, not all the time, but I bring it with me. I like to um, just kind of have a monthly insert on hand for just traveling and stuff if I don't feel like bringing my catch-all or even my on-the-go catch-all now. So honestly, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but she's here and I have her. This is a very new addition this came in a bait box and I absolutely love it. It says believe in yourself on the side. It's from Honeybee Shop and I put it in here. Um, and I decided to just use this for, <laughs> I actually wrote, do I need another notebook? Absolutely not. Do I love it? Absolutely. Um, and I decided it's just a, a simple dot grid notebook that I wanted to use this for doodling and also um, just kind of like ideas for future sticker designs. So, um, yeah, that's what that is. She's very thick. I love that she's there. Um, and then here we just have my beginner brush lettering guidebook. This is from Honeybee Shop. And this, I really, I really credit this for teaching me how to brush letter. I'm not anywhere close to where I would like to be, but I have really improved, um, since the start of this year. So this is a great resource to have so this is just kind of my I don't know catch-all traveler's note I don't know what to call it and then uh again just kind of have things stashed in the back here there's some things from work that I brought home so I need to organize all of this stuff lots and lots of stuff so I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna put that in the pile to organize and then, uh, yeah, that is my traveler's notebook. Okay, this is the last traveler's notebook, I swear. <laughs> this is getting a little thick as well. This is my video game traveler's notebook. So this is all video game themed. I have a lot of stuff in here. Oh my God, I forgot I got these sticky notes. They're so freaking cute. Oh my god. So these are also from the same shop where I had that little cat keychain with the boba. Um, Shari Majo? Shari Majo? I, I'm so sorry. I'm butchering that. I'll have it in the description. Um, so I have those sticky notes just kind of chilling in here. Um, just video game memorabilia, stickers. I'm obsessed with that. Um, and then I just kind of like journal about games. I need to laminate this because the corner is getting dinged up. Um, I had here where I was going to work on the platinum trophy for The Last of Us Part 2. And uh, haven't done that in quite a bit because I've been real busy. But uh, yeah, so whenever I pick up like art and stuff from, you know, cons and things, I just, I like to put it in here. And uh <laughs> love that sticker um and yeah just my villagers I made some stickers of them I just have a little um pencil pouch thing from once more with love on here and then we go into the memory keeping so I just kind of have like when I have really like impactful moments with games or you know events in Animal Crossing this stuff I really enjoy memory keeping um, I really like this last of us part two one that I did. 
And yeah, so it's just my memory keeping insert for that. And then I have this beautiful monthly insert that I haven't used since August. Actually, I did write in... Okay, yeah, I haven't really used it and it's going to run out. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I haven't really used it. I My intention was to track, um, you know, like the fireworks show and Animal Crossing and the birthdays of my villagers. And I do really like that I have this, it, especially for like a memory keeping perspective. But um, I just hate that I didn't really use it. I wanted to track game releases. November, I did absolutely nothing. But you know what I can do? I can cover this up and use this again. You know, not a big deal. Um, and then I have this beautiful print that I want to frame, actually. And got this uh, from that same shop. And it's just adorable. Just like a human version of Isabel. Like, that's that's amazing. So, that's what that is. And that is pretty much the whole thing. And then I just have this little shaker here in the back that I made a while back. Um, and it has a postcard in it of <laughs> from Life is Strange. Got this at a con years ago. Um, and I just kind of like stash things here in the back that I want to keep. Like photos and die cuts, little business cards, all video game related <laughs> stuff. This still makes me laugh so hard. We forgot to inform you that our game was never in development. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Okay, so yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's the video game B6TN, VGB6TN, I guess you could call it, B6 size traveler's notebook. Here she is in all her glory, she's thick, and I do intend on using this a lot more in the future. Love this keychain. Alright, no more traveler's notebooks. Okay, we have three more. I'm going to do lightning round here. So the first one we have is my art journal, which I have shown on here before. This is very important to me for a few reasons. Number one, my friend Queen got this for me for my birthday this year. Number two, this is my first and only Archer and Olive notebook. Three, this was really what kicked off my inspiration to learn how to draw and to really tap more into my creative side because I always like to paint and you know draw and I was just was never good at it and so I decided that I wanted to try to learn and just start and be more creative and like this was honestly one of the like first things it, it it was this was the jumping off point for me to say I want to learn how to draw again uh because I when I was a kid I used to draw and I was never very good at it I got really good at drawing Spongebob characters <laughs> out, of, out of all the things that was like the only thing I was good at drawing and one night apparently in March 2021 I sat down and I was like you know what I'm gonna try to draw the album art from from three cheers and it's so bad. I I'm, I know it's bad. Okay. It's, it's bad. But I'm really proud of this because this was like my first thing where I sat down and I was like, I'm just going to look at a photo for reference and just try to draw it. And I remember I sat here at the same spot. I had music on, was just chilling and drew this and I played around like this is actually vellum that I glued on. Like I printed like a blood spatter pattern on vellum and I, I printed that as a sticker and I'm just, it's really fun to look back on this because this was like the kicking off point for me to start being more artistic and uh, I don't think I ever would have opened my Etsy shop if I didn't start this. So again, thank you Queen for buying me this notebook for my birthday. This was just kind of a memory keeping uh, to mark that I got vaccinated for COVID. Uh, this is just a total junk page of playing with stamps honestly this was something for the pc squad project for may that queen and katie did so um it was all about you know what i like about me and i really uh like how this turned out 
And then again, I uh, decided to try to draw the moth from The Last of Us Part Two from Ellie's Tattoo. This text is uh, actually written in Ellie's journal about a really bad thing that happens in part two that I won't spoil if you haven't played it. And uh, this was, an, again, another junk page. Just having fun. This was some art journaling I did for Fearless Summer Camp with Queen. This was so much fun to do. Again, Fearless Summer Camp uh, with Shauna Klingerman. It was an amazing program that she had. And um, while I got busy with work once the semester started, I wasn't able to complete it. I'm very grateful for the time I had with Fearless Summer Camp. And I love what I created here. This was another project for Summer Camp. Really, really love this. Just straight up doodling. I love this so much. I love how this turned out. I love the colors. I had so much fun painting. I did this with Queen. It was so much fun. And then uh, this was like a background that I started but never actually did anything with. But there it is. And this was my attempt at drawing Lola from the Hesitant Alien uh, era. And it's not terrible. It was fun to make. And then I ended up scanning this and then working on it digitally and came up with a sticker of our friend Lola. So worked on that. And uh, that is it in my art journal right now. Um, just have some stickers here in the back. And more stickers on the back. So this is my art journal. I love it so much. Again, thank you, Queen, for getting me this. Okay, the last two planners kind of go together. So we have a Passion Planner Daily and a Passion Planner Weekly. And I really wanted to use both of these to help me track things for, um, it started out with social media management for, you know, the whole like planning with Cass Brand and my podcast and everything. Um, and it really has expanded to not only that, but also my shop and tracking things related to the shop. And I knew that just a weekly wouldn't be enough. And I knew that just a daily wouldn't be enough. So I said, well, I'm going to use both. And I've seen other people do it and have success with it. So this is my first Passion Planner Daily. It's actually my first daily planner I've ever had. And the cover is absolutely beautiful. I mean, this purple is just... It, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, I love it. It's the soft cover, which I really like. I have not... I don't think I've written anything in it so far. Because I really wanted to save it for 2022. Even though it's undated, I wanted to just kind of start fresh with the new year. And so we have our um, monthlies here in the front. So the monthlies are kind of grouped together in the front. I'm not sure how I feel about that for this planner, but it is what it is. And then we go right into our um, daily layouts. And so obviously, you know, if you, if you truly use this every day, this will only last you, I think it's three months. Like it has three months worth of daily pages in it because it has three months of monthlies I believe uh let me go back and look at that we have one month two three four four so it's four months so if you use this truly if you use it every single day you'll get four months out of it um obviously they couldn't fit the whole 12 I mean it would be it would be enormous um, but for me, you know, since this is undated, I really don't see myself using this every single day. So I love that I can just, you know, come in here and use it when I need to use it. This is really for when I need to focus and break down my task for the day. Um, particularly if I'm coming up on like a deadline. So this is, I don't, honestly, I don't really know how much I'm going to use the monthlies <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I may end up even covering them up because I have monthlies here in the, the weekly. So I, I don't really think I'm going to use them. I really just wanted the daily layouts. So that is the daily. And then this is the weekly. So I had a medium-sized Passion Planner weekly for 2021, 
really enjoyed it for uh, social media planning and then also for launching my shop. And so I decided to uh, get another weekly, but to get a small size. Um, I just think that works better for me for what I'm using it for. And then I like that they're the same size for the daily and the weekly. And so um, this is undated as well. So I can start using it whenever. I thought I was gonna use it, but I said, you know what, I'm gonna wait. And again, the months are grouped at the front for the small size, which I'm not really sure why that is, but I do believe we have 12 months here, which is nice. So this is the monthly I'm probably gonna actually use. Um, and then, so after the monthlies, we have our weekly layouts. And again, these are undated, so you can use it whenever. You can go weeks without using it and there's no pressure of like, oh my God, I have to fill in the planner. It looks stupid because there's nothing there. There's no pressure. You just you just use it when you want to use it. That's what I like about Undated. So um, this I'm going to kind of use as like a general overview of what I need to do for the entire week um, and just really kind of break down some tasks that I need to do and then get more specific in, you know, like those tasks in the daily. So if I write here, you know, work on Valentine's Day sticker designs, then in here I can go in and be more specific and say Valentine's Day designs. We want these full boxes, we want date covers, we want this, that, and the other. So um, I think this is going to work really well for me. I'm really excited to actually get in here and start using it. I wanted to just wait until the new year. So I'm going to be setting this up. Um, and when I say setting it up, I mean kind of filling in, uh, you know, the days of the week and, and writing, um, you know, a few things in here. I might go ahead and do a few layouts just to get them like pre-decorated. Uh, I plan on decorating the weeklies. I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate the dailies too much, but maybe, you know, I guess it just depends on how much room I need. And, uh, then we have some blank paper in the back, which is always nice. And that's the weekly. So all I've done is put some stickers uh, here on the back. These are some stickers that are available in my shop. And then this came with the planner. So that is the weekly. So I'm using my passion planner weekly and daily together. I'm very excited to actually get in there and start using them. Um, yeah, if you're interested in passion planner, I do have a code. Try not to push it too much, but I do have a code if you're interested. And yeah, I think that's the full planner stack. I don't think I forgot anything. Yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry this was super long. I tried to go as fast as I could. Um, but if you have any questions about my lineup or how I'm using a certain planner or if you need ideas for how you can use your planner that you already have or... Um, maybe you're not sure which planner system you want to use. If you have questions about a custom disc bound planner, I'd be happy to answer those because, um, you know, my, my planner, my catch all is really just totally customized and I, that's what works for me. I really, really enjoy using it and creating things for it. And it, I love like not having to go out and buy a whole new planner every year. I just buy new inserts and I create dashboards and, I have videos here on my channel on how to create dashboards um, and dividers and things like that. So, yeah. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell to be notified every time I upload. Uh, like I said before, I am doing 12 days of plan miss, so 12 videos throughout the month of December. I hope you guys um, have enjoyed it so far. I've definitely enjoyed it. And I thank you so much for your support. Um, yeah. And be sure to follow me over on Instagram. Check out my podcast, Pixels and Planners. All that stuff, all the links, everything will be in the description box. So definitely go check out down there. There's lots of good stuff down there. As well as some resources that you can use. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!